Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Hoolers, shills, debt slicers, peasants, vassals, meat sacks. I am a useful idiot, and today the Supreme Court upheld Obamacare almost in its entirety. And of course, the most egregious aspect of Obamacare was the mandate, the requirement that all American citizens buy private insurance from private companies. And um, of course, the uh, Supreme Court managed to weasel their way around that because it was obviously unconstitutional. So the way they worked around it was by declaring that the penalty for not buying insurance can be considered a tax. And because the Constitution permits such a tax, it is not our role to forbid it or to pass upon its wisdom or, for, or fairness, just as John Roberts said. Um, so an interesting way to interpret the Constitution. The Constitution was written fairly simply so that all Americans could understand it. There'd be no gray areas. Um, somehow the Supreme Court has managed to uh, make the Constitution far more complex than it really is, and uh, therefore have undermined it. So the Supreme Court is supposed to basically uphold the law based on the Constitution, and they can't even do that. And um, of course this ruffles Obama's feathers because they didn't want to characterize it as a tax, even though they knew it was one, because of all his uh, continued empty promises about no new taxes. And um, of course another aspect of this too is that uh, they uh, declared that the expansion of Medicaid health insurance for the poor was unconstitutional. And this is where it gets interesting. Because just as John Roberts said that the expansion of Medicaid health insurance for the poor was unconstitutional because it required states to expand their coverage or lose federal funding. Justice John Roberts said that this was like the states having a gun to their head and would take away state sovereignty. How interesting, how ironic, and how contradictory. So Justice John Roberts, it's all right for Congress to put a gun to the head of American citizens, individual American citizens, and undermine their rights, their civil rights guaranteed to them by the Constitution and our Declaration of Independence and our Bill of Rights. But, um, boy, he sure doesn't want to do that to the states, but it's all right to screw the American citizens and hold a gun to their head. So very interesting irony there and contradiction. Um, and, um, of course, Mitt Romney's all outraged and, uh, He's all hot and bothered, and he's going to whip the GOP uh, base into a frenzy, um, promising uh, all efforts to repeal Obamacare in its entirety. Of course, uh, negating the fact that he already instigated his own version of Obamacare in Massachusetts, which he, he's trying to hide, hide from and run away from all the time. But, uh, you know, I expect him to be a big hypocrite, because that's what he is. So uh, let's look at some of the other aspects of this. You know, of course, uh, one of the promises of Obamacare is that it would increase access to the health care and drive prices down and um, of course our experience has already shown us that this is a bunch of a bunch of bullshit because uh, Social Security was set up and of course became uh, hugely more expensive than they ever imagined and they could have taken precautions to keep it funded but it was uh, much more tempting to just uh, kind of move that money into the general fund and spend it and, and you know create the turn the trust fund into a uh, slush fund. And um, and another example, of course, is the Medicaid prescription expansion plan done by the Bush administration. And of course, there was promises that, that would lower costs and give people more access, and quite the opposite happened. It drove prices up and gave people less access. So, uh, and we've already seen that uh, analysis of the Obamacare is uh, it's just another giant boondoggle. It will drive prices up, and it will... Uh, give people less access to health care. We know that. So, uh, And it's very interesting, too, that we have this mandate that everybody buy private insurance from private companies in an era when uh, the economic collapse continues and, and downsizing and layoffs will continue. And there's uh, millions of Americans who are working part-time and temporary jobs, not out of choice. And we have uh, nearly 100 million Americans of working age who don't have jobs, who have just dropped off the rolls. So this, this will be a great boon for them to have to cough up money when they don't even have unemployment insurance anymore, and they're going to be required to buy health insurance or be penalized. So uh, welcome to the new America. And um, another aspect of this, of course, is that all the uh, private companies have been dumping their insurance plans in anticipation of Obamacare coming into effect. And uh, so at one point, you know,
know, it was a great boon in the American uh, uh, employment scene that you could actually get health benefits from your company, and it was one of their incentives to lure lure uh, good candidates. But uh, you know, now we have these companies dumping all these insurance plans because they they know Obamacare is going to take take over for them. So, um, boy, what what can I say about this? Um, and uh, of course, all the money that uh, Obamacare is supposedly going to generate in uh, revenue for the state uh, is already spent. So it's not going to help anybody because uh, wherever there's money, the government's going to find it. They're going to spend it. And this is another example where the the money that might be gained by Obamacare is already spent. So there's not going to be any wins here. So uh, this decision today, in, in tandem with the Citizens United giving corporations personhood, um, are two really a uh, egregious uh, travesties uh, and decisions by the Supreme Court in uh, the last two years. And uh, with Citizens United, of course, we had uh, corporations owned our uh, political process almost uh, 90 percent. And uh, thanks to the Supreme Court, they now control 100 percent. And the same thing we're going to have now with the uh, pharmaceutical health insurance industry, um, already a huge bloated bureaucracy that's making a handful of people really rich. And uh, now people are going to be uh, required to buy from them, and it's going to it's going to drive prices up. And now that uh, health insurance medical uh, industry is going to have Americans by the stranglehold. So I guess my final word on this is that uh, what we can see from the Supreme Court is they're uh, they're a nice uh, addition to the corruption of our entire judicial system in the United States, along with the uh, U.S. Justice Department, Eric Holder. So they're they're a good pair. So here we have the Supreme Court apparently has lost any sense of a moral compass. They've lost any uh, idea of common sense. And uh, they're completely bought out like the rest of our government. What a surprise. So um, there you have it. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.